Celebration continues for Josh Holt and his family. Tonight, friends and neighbors are welcoming him home to Riverton after two long years. News for Utah's Jen Jacobson joins us live at the Riverton City Park for the Justice for Josh celebration. Jen? Yeah, Kim, what a day to come home to America. Memorial Day is special as it is for us Americans as we celebrate our freedoms. But today is extra special for Josh Holt and his family after they fought for nearly two years as he stayed inside a Venezuelan prison. Tonight, green balloons and American flags outline the final moments of Josh and his wife Tammy's long road home to the United States. To tell you the truth, the one that's upstairs and whoever it is that you believe was the one that got me through it, was the one that comforted me as I was sitting there crying in my bed. Inside the old dome meeting hall, friends and family cried happy tears as they finally embraced a loved one they weren't sure at one point they'd ever see again. I am so excited for the whole family. This is a blessing for them to see him come home and be safe with his wife and to see his daughters again. It's just really exciting and I'm so happy. His Riverton family gift wrapped his hometown in green, his favorite color. We want him to feel welcome. We want him to feel excited to be home, glad to be back on American soil. It's good to have the flags out. Like you said, Memorial Day is a, is a, is a good day for it. Friends and neighbors tell me Memorial Day this year is extra special celebrating justice for Josh. It's like winning the Super Bowl almost, you know, like your team won the Super Bowl, but like so much better. Like it's just, it's victory. It's like we got justice and we never gave up. Venezuelan native Andrea Colsla also lives in Riverton. She says she's relieved to see Josh come home. Other uh, political prisoners out there, they're like so like hoping for like a miracle to happen the way it happened to Josh. So it's like amazing that he's back home. Colsa considers him lucky. Pretty sad and like what's going on like with the kids like dying every day pretty much because there's no food, no medicine. Now, a lot of people are praising President Donald Trump and other U.S. leaders for negotiating Josh's return. They attribute the success to the community's constant support, and they say they are forever indebted to that love. And they also tell me they are grateful that no one ever gave up on Josh. Reporting live in Riverton, I'm Jen Jacobson, News for Utah.